Happy Sunday, crafty friends. I'm coming on with some fun stuff. Okay, so yesterday I showed you this stencil that I got from Timo, and I told you that I was gonna use my solar paste and maybe some of my lunar paste to more or less paint it. And I used one of these brushes, and all I did was, you know, I laid it down and or it would have been this way, obviously. And I went over the water lines with a color, and then I went over the bubbles with another color, and I just basically painted it. Look at that. Oh, my lanta. And if you could see it in person, well, I think you're getting the gist. Is that not amazing? Oh, I love it. So, I also told you that I was getting some of the re-inkers. Um... And when Simon did his demonstration, he said that you could mix the ink re-inkers with the paste and make a whole different color. And he was not lying. Let me show you. Okay. This is gold mixed with Remember Me. And I just um, put a dot of that on my finger and put it on each bottle because you can't tell what the color is. And then this is gold with Crown Me. Look at that. And then this is blue with Prom Queen. And this is green with... Uh, yeah, this one, Roar. Okay, so all I did was mix them together and then I, I just went like this with my palette knife. And so, oh, what a wonderfully creepy effect, right? But then I dried them with my heat tool. And so some places they puffed up like that and they're, you know, they're hard, they're not wet anymore. And the reason the paper is buckled is because I used my heat tool. Uh, probably too much because I really I was wanting to see what it would do if I did a little and if I got really close, you know, what it would do. So what great Halloween effects or, you know, leaf effects. Like that looks like a ginkgo leaf. And I did that with this. I just dipped it in there and dabbed it. Now, it did have this extra halo around there, and I tried to eliminate it, but I was not very successful. But anyway, so I went on. So, I want to show you how you can mix any two colors, and you will still, the background, the original paste will remain in the thin spots. Maybe alter just a little, but not much. And then... The other color will show up, you know, on the high spots. And if you smear it, it'll show up, you know, like when you tilt it and turn it. Like this, well, they all sort of look like they would glow in the dark. They, they won't. I'm not saying they will. But that's how, you can see, that's how bright and vivid they are. Look at that. Oh, it makes me just want to create for Halloween so bad. Okay. So, let's pick a color. Let's pick, let's try purple. Let's do purple and orange. So all I did was get a tiny amount like that and put it down on here. And I want you to see, that's what it looks like before. And then we'll use Roar in here and see if we can really get a freaky Halloween color. Now in this amount, I've kind of just been putting a drop and stirring it up a little bit and seeing what I think. Okay. <laughs> Is that not fabulous already? So stir, stir, stir. And I, I, I did, I mix, I'm mixing it on black paper because that's what I'm going to use it on. And so I thought, well, that'll give me a, um, a true idea of what it's going to look like. Oh, can you see a cauldron? 
well, I don't know that I'd make it these two colors, but, you know, with this dab around, that's like somebody's toe, big toe over here. <laughs> I was over there. <laughs> That's, that's when that big old toe got stubbed one too many times. So look at that. Look at the effect that gives just on that palette knife. And you could use, I mean, anything. Let's, 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 um, let's put this orange one on here and see what we get. I see it's drying. So depending on what you use, it'll come down, you know, your 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 crinkly veiny things. That that would be a beautiful flower. Ah, oh, this stuff, this stuff. It is just amazing. I mean, you know, and also you could paint with it still like I did yesterday. You know, Whatever you wanted to do. All right, let's do something else. Ugh. I think I need a new baby wipe. All right, let's try. Let's say I haven't tried this color, Cross My Heart, which is a pinky color. Smear that out a little bit so you can see it. See how that shows the kind of peachy, peachy pinky. All right, what would we like to put with that? How about overzealous, which is like a lime green. That's the cool thing. It doesn't make mud. It actually, I don't know, suspends it or something. I don't know. Ooh. <laughs> now here we go with our bu bubbling cauldron. Okay, the color in itself is awesome. But look what happens. <laughs> oh my. Have y'all seen caladiums that are this color? Yes, 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 yes. Forget the caladium. Let's do the boiling vat of, or bat wings, or butterfly wings. Ooh. Oh. Hmm. Look at that. Can you see it? Yes, you can. Oh. Oh, I just think it's amazing. Oh. <laughs> I just can't. I just can't. I just can't get over it. Okay, I'll do one more color. And then I'll let you go on with your Sunday. And I'll go on <laughs> with mine. Alright, let's see. How about blue. Let's see. I use the blue there. I use the blue. I use the green. I use the gold. I haven't used overheated. Let's use it. Let's do it. Now obviously ooh, you can mix as much of this as you want. Now that's what it's going to look like by itself. Which is a deeper version of this one. Okay, and then what should we do with that one? I have all kinds of colors. Traffic cone, that's what I used on that other one. Well, let's use a tone on tone and see what happens. Now, I don't have any Simon Hurley ink, so I can't tell you how they work. Oh, my Atlanta. But I can tell you that this is so cool. And y'all know me. You know I love my crafty experiments. So when he said you could mix this up, I was like, oh, I'm going to try something I already have. And then I saw Rhonda. <laughs> Rhonda Bennett, whiskey and glue. That's what I do. And she had gotten some and started playing. And I was just like, okay. All right, so this one, since it's tone on tone, it's tone on tone. That's exactly what it is, pretty much. Still 
this this padding is a uh, uh, blowing my mind. Let's take it up to that one. Oh, now I'll use this dauber so y'all can see. Wouldn't that make a beautiful tree? Oh my. And so that's not giving me that halo. I mean, I know I had some. Look at that. Oh, I love it. It's so cool. Okay. Well, and see what I'm going to be doing today. <laughs> I'm also going to stamp some because, you know, I got a stamp or two. So let me show that up close. So that's tone on tone. So it just gives you a little bit of depth. I much prefer the definite two tones. Isn't that cool? What a beautiful flower that would make. Well, can't tell right there, but anywho, y'all, I'm loving them. This is so underwater to me, you know? Ugh, I love them. Okay. Well, all this is a uh, solar paste and his reinkers. Okay, that's all that is of goodness, of goodness and playing in one sorry little palette knife. Uh, I'm, I, they must be all together somewhere because this is the only one in my little container that I have right here at my desk. But I'm not disappointed with what it did for sure. And there were some stamps in my recent haul that were flat so I'm gonna have to try those for sure and then not only that they'll easily wipe off and won't see it does dry hard but I mean I'm still using them so there you go and there you have it all right y'all have a wonderful Sunday love you guys blessings